All right, good morning. Welcome to the Ice Historical Card for the 31st of August, whenever you find this timeless message. My name's Josh. I'm with the Mr. Floyd Channeling's channel, Channel Archangel Raphael and St. Germain, and we do so Monday through Friday at 10.33 Eastern, 7.33 a.m. Pacific, and we do uh, something live on Tuesday nights as well, and uh, Tuesday night live at 7 p.m. Eastern, again, uh, 4 p.m. Pacific. Uh, please like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications when we go live. I appreciate you being here. This week, uh, we finish off ISIS today. Uh, tomorrow being Sunday, we start with Kuan Yin for the week so she can give us a week of divine guidance. All right, let's see what we have for today. Uh, we pre-draw the card so that uh, I don't have to shuffle for you and waste time. Stay to Ru and be in your power. Osiris and Isis, Lord and Lady of Divine Authority. You are a sovereign divine being with spiritual authority and freedom within you. You do not need permission from anyone to be who you are and live your life as you choose. This is your divine birthright. Guard it as the precious treasure that it is and remember that you are a divine being. The flail and crook, often held by Osiris, are symbols of divine royalty and dominion. These symbols remind us that, we within, that within, we hold the great dominion, spiritual authority, and freedom to be sovereign ruler of our own self. This does not mean that we have to control life or others, or even the environment around us, but it does give us complete and utter choice to become spiritually awake, free, and self-determined as we wish to be, as well as provide us with complete choice as to what our values and actions will be in this lifetime. There is no permission required from anyone apart from yourself to be and live your truth. There are many voices that will test you on the journey from illusionary shackles of fear or loss or abandonment that may hold you back or attempt you into giving your power away to others. You shall awaken from the testing into the realization of spiritual independence within. Of course, there is more spiritual authority than, than just recognizing that li it lies within you. There are times when you must act on it, guard it, and protect it, which means recognizing that when others seek to exert influence over you for their own reasons or when you are being manipulated out of your own authority, becoming blind to your own power of choice, and instead believing that things are the way that they are, you cannot question or query. Sometimes during such challenges to wield the crook and flail to exert one's own spiritual authority requires that you stand your ground and remain true to your knowing. This is not about achieving a certain outcome or attempting to control something or someone or even forcing things to be as you wish they could be. Standing your own ground means that telling yourself the truth and not selling out or giving away something that has genuine spiritual truth and meaning for you. It is not about making another see things the same way. It is about honoring your own truth. And if your truth is wise enough to include compassion, then honoring that the other, even when the other disagrees with you or seeks to harm you out of your own fear. You do not have to challenge another in order to honor your own tr your truths and inner authority. If you feel that another has to agree with you in order for your authority to be intact, then it isn't genuine in th inner authority at all. The fact that you don't need to have the agreement of others in order to live an empowered life can be a liberating realization. Yet, there are times when life can feel like an assault against your truth, with many challenging you. For those souls who have come to master spiritual authority in this lifetime, there is a test to remain true without becoming dogmatic, to honor what you know is true without m mis minimizing, judging, or dismissing the truths of another that are different than yours, but just as true for them. You have the power to create your own reality, and you don't need permission from anyone else to do this. Honor your spiritual sovereignty. Let the Lady Isis help you find spiritual authority and freedom of choice now. If you have pulled the Queen of Heaven card, as well as this when you are guided to deeply question the power of external authority figures in your life and whether they are to be spiritual teachers, gurus, parents, or employers. We only draw one card for time. We'd have to read two of these. It would take about 20 minutes. These, being, these beings may be doing their best to help you, but it is up to you to find your own truths. These beings can be mirrors for your own awareness at best. You are guided to exercise care and discernment about the issue that feels like it is compromising your sense of self and personal power in such relationships. That issue is a soul healing trying to happen. Look within and see if you can grow through that in some way. There's much confidence trying to emerge from within you. 
Seeking to hand over any responsibility for your own well-being to another can be tricky and ultimately a self-destructive path. Even though it may start off as a relief of stress about some concern or another, this card also guides you to take responsibility for your health in your own hands too. Advice from health professionals and doctors can be helpful and sometimes can be mistaken. It is up to you to decide for yourself how you wish to work with your body. Don't be scared. Listen to the advice given by professionals, but remember your life is your spiritual gift. Don't be afraid to live it in your way. Ritual of the Crook and Flail. For a peaceful, find a peaceful and quiet place where you can sit comfortably without being disturbed. Closing your eyes and imagine that you can start with the awareness at your heart. and It'll travel down through your body, touching your navel with light and all the way down through your feet until it forms roots in the earth. Allow these roots of light to travel up through your body, to your heart, and then to your throat. Imagine the lights growing in the throat and gently expanding out in all directions, creating an aura of light around you. Say aloud, I now choose of my own free will to honor my authority respectably, or pardon me, responsibly, freedom. Yeah, let's start that over. Say aloud again, sorry. I now choose of my own free will to honor my authority, responsibility, freedom, and strength. I now choose to take back my power and my authority. I respect myself, I honor my power, and I allow myself to have full spiritual authority in my life. I now choose to break any contract or vow that I have ever made with another being in which I have allowed them to exert spiritual authority over me. I now choose to honor my own divinity, and I allow myself to have full, per, full possession of myself. With gratitude for the pre precious gift of spiritual sovereignty, I now honor my own divine power, responsibility, and freedom. So be it. Breathe in deeply and exhale fully. Repeat, repeat the breaths three times in and out. Be aware of the light in the belly and supported by energy from the earth and let it rise up to your stomach area. Then up to your heart, throat, forehead, let it rise to the top of your head and join the rising of this light. When you're ready, just take your focus back to your belly again and just open your eyes. Incantation of the Crook and Flail. You can now see this incantation to break any vow of this or another lifetime. You will sense the past vows as inner blocks or drain that can keep you captive to a relationship or relationship pattern that you know does not serve you but can not seem to break through as though you are somehow tied to it beyond your conscious will. You can also state that at any time you feel confused, you are seeking permission for how you live your life or that you need to call your power back. Crook and flail, crook and flail, I now declare with intention clear. I am a sovereign being of divine, of love divine. I call back my power, full and complete. I break all vows of giving away my authority. I release the lie that my authority may be taken from me. I surrender only to the light of my own divine essence. Crook and flail, flail and crook, I now declare with intention clear, I am a sovereign being of love divine. All right, there we go. There's your Isis Oracle card for today. Friday, the 31st, or Saturday, I should say, the 31st of August, the end of August, almost the end of summer, if uh, you're in the Northern Hemisphere. I love you. Isis loves you. Kuan Yin loves you. No deck. White Buffalo Calf Woman loves you as well. Remember, everything you do or don't do helps you to create your universe. And if you're still in your dark night of the soul, as you release your old energies, as you release old traumas, you get into your light body where it's easy to create. I love you. Stay awesome. Have a fantastic Saturn day, and I will see you in the next. Love you.